What's up YouTube and welcome to what may be a cure for D&D addiction or more likely is me exacerbating it. I'm sure Tim will tell us. It feels like more of the latter, but you know. Yeah. Welcome to Card Hunters, a game which doesn't actually have a title screen, which is why you get to see this to start with. Think of it like D&D combined with cards. Tim and I will be playing together in the co-op campaign. We don't know how long the series will be, but it's just basically going to be us having fun. We already went through the tutorial, which I would have shown it to you guys, but it gets old kind of fast, so yeah. just, we'll explain things as we go. Yeah, the tutorial doesn't really... It's pretty basic, just teaches you about the character classes and the basics of battle. Yeah, but for now, let's hop into the campaign while I go into the options and lower the volume so I can actually hear Tim more. Hey. Ignore the sticker that says new items. That is far too expensive for us. You could probably just pop in there once to... And also, they can't see that. They see my screen. <laughs> oh. What's your screen at? Um, my screen's at the... Uh, my screen's at the map. Oh. My screen's at the map, and I see the new button. Yep. I guess I'll get rid of that. All right, so Tim, uh, I vote we go to the Wizard Workshop dungeon first. Just sort of dump them head first into stuff. Yep, sounds like a good idea. Let's go. So yeah, whereas D and D most of the time has a singular campaign with a few side quests, this game is basically all side quests in battle. Yep. Now uh, here, here's the question, Tim. Do you want to be nerd or do you want to be douche? I was kind of thinking I would be Gary and you could be Melvin. Ah, uh, all right. Do you not see him saying stuff? No, I don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what if I click Begin That's Adventure? Problem. There it is. Rhino Tim leads your team to the Wizard's Workshop. I guess I see what all they say. I guess so. I guess I'm reading that stuff. All right. This oh. adventure will teach you about the importance of armor. Pay attention and you may just learn something. Douche, 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 douche. <laughs> He's a Pokemon now. Aloizo's tower is neat and well furnished. The wizard is an enthusiastic horticulturist and he has placed magnificent, magnificent ficus trees in the corner of this room. As you step inside the tower, two tin golems whir into life and lurch towards you with murderous intent. Let's go. Okay. Alright, so this is the first thing. First time those of you watching will see us. I am the elf wizard this, and Tim is the human priest. Piss. <laughs> For anyone who's seen our Green Moon campaign, you'll get that one. Yeah. Metallic monstrosities bar your way. They are out of control and no longer serve their master. Okay, so as we're D and D, you can do anything your imagination can think of, and your dice rolls will allow. This game, you're barred to whatever random cards you get. Yeah, although you can do a lot more things per round than you could in D and D. <laughs> yep. Huh. It's basically until you run out of cards that are allowed. All right, so judging by what I think their movement will be, I'm going to move here. These guys are incredibly tanky. Yeah. Our basic strategy in this will be Tim is tank and healer, and also melee person, and I am hide behind him and do damage person. Yes, there is also a warrior class to use, but the cleric can fill up that niche pretty well. We would have gotten or, a third person, but we figured we would try it ourselves first. Everyone else was too busy or not interested. Yep. Big zap. <laughs> We're nerds. It's best to also focus down one enemy at a time. Yeah. Zap. <laughs> and I cannot do anything, so next turn. Alright, uh... I'm actually going to move this guy away from me. Which made him hit you in the Ow. face. <laughs> but I rolled a decent dice roll, so I didn't get hit. Yep, and I think I am good from here. It, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to shuffle. Sh yep, I'm going to go over here, and now I'm good. <laughs> Just positioning myself for future turns. Yep. I cannot do anything, so I'll pass. You can also only have two cards in your inventory at the end of a round. Yeah, they make you discard any extras. Ooh, I've got some good stuff this time. I can't do jack shit. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, that's one problem with the cleric. Sometimes you'll just get 
support cards. We do what we can. Uh. He got a six on that. What a bitch. Yeah. Oh, I got an attack card. I'm good. Yes, kindly hit the guy with more health. <laughs> yeah, you take care of the weak one. Penetrating zap. I got, oh, oh, for the record, this game this, this game is also free on Steam. Yeah, you can buy basically what amounts to expansion packs, but I find the base game is pretty decent. Yeah, it's not really pay to win stuff you get. <laughs> the stuff you get is RNG based, yeah. but you know. I don't know why you bother using that at the end of a turn. It's best when you still have attacks left. I wanted to just dump some cards. Um, I'll chase after this guy. Alright. Remember, diagonal counts is next to him as well. Bring it on, Gary. What's your golem got? Damn it. Well, I'm not doing a terrible amount of damage this time. I'm not doing any damage. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the problem with tanky enemies in our classes. This is why the warrior is necessary, Tim, because you are very much half support, half attack, whereas he is all attack. Yeah, but <laughs> if I win, we might change things up later if we find this isn't working. Yeah. For the record, Tim, maybe consider healing yourself next time instead of just ending your turn. Yeah, it's not all too necessary. If a character dies in a battle, they'll respawn the next battle. Tim, I know fine. it's not necessary for this battle, but in the future I'm saying please do it, because things get tough later. I know. But it's like, I've been through all this early game stuff, so I'm not too worried. Big zap. Can't hit me. No damage, gotta love that. And I cannot do anything, so... Yeah. We make it... It'll be good later on whenever you level up and you get more actual weapons. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I've ordered some, uh, some Papa Manchu pizza. It should be here soon. The once elegant room is now ruined. The golems have been reduced to possible scrap metal amongst the debris of fine decor. You leave the broken parts for Eloiso to clean up and head to the second tower level. Well... Battle one done, let's see what we get. Um, I got a divine item. This offers some healing, but it's uh, actually uh, this might No, it's not terribly better than what I already have. Up uh, douche face talking. Uh, I suppose we've too much to expect that you youngsters to join the card hunter club yet. Duh. As usual, I had to explain everything. Club members get an extra item each time they open a chest. Yes. Serious players will click the button next to the club symbol at the top of the screen to find out more. So that's one of the uh, things you can pay for in this game. But we don't need it. Pizza! Oh, pizza, yep. pizza girl's here. Pizza! One with one large with tofu and pineapple. Gary, Gross. don't you touch me. <laughs> Get away from me with your heathen pineapple tofu pizza hands. If people like pineapple, that's fine. But tofu, that's just wrong. Oh. Eh, look at Gary being a nerd. Alright, let's fight. Living Machines. Yep. Alright, this one might be a bit tougher as Tim, because we're outnumbered by Encounter. two to one. These crude flying machines are ungracious hosts and do not welcome you here. Alright, Tim. Uh, all things considered, yep. if you would, I would prefer to you to use that frenzy on me at the beginning of this turn. There you go. Thank you. I am frenzied. Frenzy zap. A lot of damage. Yep. Oh dear. Protect me, cleric. <laughs> uh, I can't attack them yet. I guess I'll use this inspiration to see if I get anything good. There you go. You have two attacks now. Yeah, but they're out of my reach. Zap. Oh dear. Well, this guy is going to be almost dead by the time this turn is done, so that's nice. You back away, sir. Die, birdie. Ow. Uh oh. Zap. Alright. Oh, he's so close. I'll, I'll finish him off next turn. Oh, jeez. Um. 
Take that. Ow. Ow, my my tender elven flesh. You can toss him away with telekinesis. I am. You can go over there. <laughs> Why you do this? Look! Better you than me. You could take it. You could have shot and shoved him like to the right. I would have sworn he would have just walked over. Alright, I'm good. I'm moving over here. Why? Why do you expose me? Because <laughs> look at my health. Oh, fair enough. I'm going over here then. <laughs> okay, out of cards. Yep. That does not happen too often, actually. Alright, what can we do? Oh, hi. Oh, dear. You can kill him right you away. You go away. Ding. I, I got a lot of attack cards this time, but I am hurting. Yeah, you should probably heal. It, it only heals me back up to where I was. Zap. Oh, he failed. Woo! Please. Ow, my face. Finish him. And pray his mail doesn't activate, because if it does, we can't actually kill him. Well... Uh, die! Damn it. Ah, oh, shit! Well, Come on, dude! Yeah, he only with, has one health! With two of us, this is hard. <laughs> Alright, uh... We even get extra cards, but it's like... This game is designed for a three-party system. Yeah. We'll keep at it, though, see what happens. It might just be longer battles than we expected. Why do you um, keep running? Because I'm gonna die! <laughs> Fine, I'll off tank, I guess, with my seven health. You you have more health and armor. They're gonna shred that on Oh no. Oh no, you're on fire. I don't wanna be on fire. Wait, wait. wait I yeah, you're on fire. Just kill the guy with one health. Oh dear. I'll do what I can. I don't really have AoE yet. Alright. Let's do this. I have I have no attack cards. I guess I'll pin them out. Are you dead? Okay, not quite. No. Heal yourself. Because that guy next to I you actually can't move now. I didn't realize I'd be all of the damage in this. Me either. I need a better weapon. Well, we can always go to the store after this adventure. Yeah, the problem is we don't have much gold unless we get some treasure. I've got quite a bit of treasure to sell. And any and anything could be helpful as long as it kind of like shuffles your cards up a bit. Um, yeah, that's all I can do for get now. Get away from me! I'm just going to go ahead and say next. I have to keep running. I only got armor! Okay, this is I'm good. on fire. Could've just let me kill it. <laughs> Phew. There we go. Alright, one left. We can only get attacked once per turn now, essentially. Yep. You could run away from it. Eat my brain beam. At least you have armor out the wazoo now. Yeah, but I have to get rid of one of them. Probably one of the rusty ones, I'd imagine. Uh, I think I'm good. Yeah, although, the thing is, the male and the rusty, they both require a 4 plus. They're basically the same. Yeah, that's one of those things where you're either going to have to go for slightly lower ones that don't require rolls, or ones like those that do. Okay, we might be able to do something here. Yeah, I think so, except I think he might kill me with this. So I am actually going to... Go way over here. I think I'm safe enough where I can get right up in his face. Yeah, that okay, armor I'm three good. probably helps. Whereas I'm just gonna do this. Except I'm on fire now. Yeah, welcome to the club. Kill him right now. I'm killing him. Whew. Ooh, this is tough. Oh no, I'm holding the, still holding the tip. She must think I'm a real jerk. Yes, yeah, the subplot with him and the pizza girl. Yep. 
All right, I got ooh an arcane item. I, Let me see. Is this I got a divine weapon that I already had. I actually got uh, something that I think will do well for me, and more stuff to sell. So that'll do. Huh. Something that's annoying is you can't sell the weapons and armor and stuff until later in the game. Yeah. So you end up with like with an entire truckload of equipment, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Who's calling me? Yeah, okay, we're at the boss stage. fight. Yep. It's only counter. Biz tank were a heavily armored bronze golem tanks into action. Well, I feel like this Getting is me? an okay start. Okay, I can frenzy you if you let me. Uh, yeah, I just have to. I had to get a little bit closer, and I have a feeling he'll close with us too if that happens. So let's see. Well, it's only him, so it's not too bad. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try getting right here to see how close he gets. Hello. Stay over there, you please. You get away. You get away from him. Thank you for going. Ah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna toss I it to you so yet. you can frenzy me. Okay. Righteous frenzy. Uh oh. Now my back soon. Well, time for the unleashing. His armor is failing. That's not gonna fail. Ow. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. So keep yourself healthy. Zap. That's right, armor. Keep failing. Hey, look. Hey. Now you can attack. Zap. All of his armor rolls are failing. I'm okay with this. Literally all of his armor rolls are failing. I'm okay with this. Zap. That's because his armor requires a 5 or greater. So he does have more of a chance to just fail. Alright, that was round one, and we almost killed him. I feel good. Yeah, and this is the end of the dungeon. Yeah. Ow. Speaking of ow, zap. Dead. Gotta love penetrating zaps. Adventure complete! We bit we we beat the dungeon. Boom, with your final blow, the golem explodes to a shower of cogs and gears. Final battle destroys the laboratory Ooh. completely. Both Aloizo, the wizard, and the local authorities are grateful for the player's successful efforts. With a sigh, Aloizo swears a solemn oath never to dabble in the dark arts of technology ever again. He rewards you with what he gets out of his ruler. And I am pledged to assist you in your further adventures whenever he can. I got something new. I got something called the Bandit Stash. Uh oh, how good was it? Um. Oh, ooh. Not sure. Damn it! I got a Holy rare. Shit. I got a rare halberd for a warrior. Uh, hmm. Staff, I got. I decent. got a. I got, I got six treasures. I got six treasures out of one box. Wait, really? Yes, and two of them were epic treasures. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> I'm gonna make bank. Does only the, does only the person who's not the host get this? I think it's, a, it's a, I think it's a random chance. The hell! I got a ton of money. I gotta look into this stuff between episodes. Oh, uh, nope, that was it. Now, yeah, I gotta look into. For now, it went up. At least we got that going for us. I might actually be able to afford stuff in the newer shops. Woo oh, chest and barrel is open first, though. Yeah, I'll zip over there just Yay. so we can give me my free pizza. No, I'm not going to use pizza on this chest, sir. Why not? Because I'm going to save it. I'm going to buy a chest. I'm going to take a visit to the armory and see what I can do here. Sell some of my common treasures. I got a few boots. Holy shit. I also got... Uh... I also got some armor, but it needs a power token. It's a divine armor. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have All this shit stuff. for armor yet. We don't have power tokens yet, so we can't use any of that. Yeah, that comes naturally with levels. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna go to the daily deal and sell some stuff. I don't think it matters where you sell stuff. I know it doesn't matter where I sell it, but the thing is, I have a lot of stuff to sell, so I might... 
Holy fucking shit. Yeah, stuff is expensive there. No, Rhino, one epic treasure was worth 200 gold. What the hell? I want some of this stuff. <laughs> I'm rich. You bastard, how dare you be rich? <laughs> okay, off of my entire treasure, I now have over 500 gold. What the hell? <laughs> Get wrecked. I don't even know what to say to that. I'm rich. Yeah. I can buy stuff. I noticed, okay. With me being slightly perturbed over Tim's vast finances, uh, I think we'll go ahead and call this a first episode. Uh, I'm Rhino. I'm Tim, and sadly, I can't buy any of the things at the Daily Deal. Yeah. Because none of them are usable. Whoosh. Boom.